Hi, Earth Signs! So you are going to have Virgo, Taurus, and Cancer all in one video, but you each get your own reading in here. So if I can figure out how to do it, I will put a timestamp in the description box below so that you'll know how to just skip right to your portion, okay? So this is for coupled Virgos, Tauruses, and Capricorns. Um, your love reading for the month of February. So Virgos, what kind of energy are you putting out this month in regards to your relationship? Things that your partner might be noticing or picking up on. And they're saying, you know, like kind of like this passion and lust energy isn't so much there as it has been in the past. You might be lacking enthusiasm, even though you're still having a good time, you're enjoying each other, you have things to be grateful for, things to celebrate but they just feel like maybe you're not as passionate about them as before and they're concerned that that's not gonna change or come back. Now, what is your challenge in the month of February in regards to your love life, Virgo? And they're saying um, it actually has a lot to do with your sacral chakra, your root chakra, and your solar plexus chakra. It's this energy of envy. Like maybe you look at other couples, you look at other people, you see what they have, and then you're like, oh, I don't have that in my relationship. And then it makes you feel kind of shitty um, instead of feeling love for what those other people have, therefore attracting it into your own relationship. So that's a good way to change your mindset. But I do want to go backwards a step and find out how you can find that passion or drive or sexual energy to bring it back to your relationship. And it just says, you know, um, when you're not feeling particularly happy all the time, that'll just start to wane. But if you're focused on the things that make you unhappy, it's going to be really, really challenging for you to get that back. So what they're saying is, um, some of you it's body issues, some of it you it's like, you don't feel very pretty. You don't feel very um, sexy or something like that, which is interesting to me because the Virgo singles had a very opposite energy. They had this energy of like um, being extra attractive, really owning it, they had great hair. Um, but for some of you, like, you're starting to feel like it's never going to come back in your relationship. And so there's like, there's not really anything new you can do or try to bring it back. It's just like that you're maybe, um, you have like this blockage up that's creating a sort of resistance to be able to receive love that your partner's trying to give you. So what's the workaround? How do you get past it? And they're like, well, it's not by talking about it because the only thing that's going to do is drive a further wedge in between you. If you're direct about it, if you're like, eh, I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not, not in the mood to have sex. Um, they're going to take it very personal and rightly so, you know. So um, you just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> uh, what they're saying is some of you are just in the wrong relationship. And so it's not coming back. But for the rest of you who aren't in the wrong relationship and this isn't resonating, what's the deal? Um, they're like, we don't even want to talk to you because you don't have relationship issues. <laughs> oh, spirit, you're so silly. They're like, no, some of you, you're just like in the wrong relationship and it's time to leave. Um, they're like, it's nothing you need to talk about or work through because it's not going to get better. And um, some of you, it's hard because it's actually a marriage that's not working. So that involves legal stuff. But if you turn to spirit for support and help and guidance, they will help you. Um, how You just don't like have confidence here. So that's shitty, and I'm sorry. I do want to try one more time to pull for those of you that are not in this situation. Um, how is your partner picking up on your vibes? Um, oh, okay. So for those of you who do have like kind of a fun and sexy sort of relationship this month, um, this you guys are in the right relationship, okay? Because it's polar opposites. Um, so. So they're like, okay, that's happening. Some of you might be uh, doing more like freaky stuff <laughs> in in your sex life. Um, you, you might not be thinking it's as fun as you thought it was going to be once you're in there, though. But really, to be honest, Spirit doesn't want to talk to those of you who are having fun, freaky sex and you're with the right person. They really want to focus on the Virgos who aren't. And so I'm sorry, but they're just not giving me information. There's really nothing I can do about that. So we're going to focus on those Virgos who are not in a happy coupled relationship, okay? What are your steps through this? How do you get past this energy? 
And they're saying really feeling your feelings but keeping them to yourself. You need to internally process them before you go and have a conversation with your partner. They're saying that you're not supposed to do anything right now. You um, are supposed to express gratitude for the things that are going right in your life and in your relationship right now, especially in your life in general because Virgos are supposed to have an amazing month. But if you're focused on the things that suck, um, more things are going to start to suck, right? Because he's focusing his attention over here and somebody can walk right up and tip those little cups of good things over too. And so they're like, this focus has to be very internal. It has to be very much you focused before you go talking about it to your partner. February is not the month to bring it up. Um, so what should you do in order to improve your relationship with your partner if you want to give it one more try? And what should you do in order to um, improve your relationship with yourself and with your spirit team in order to make um, these kind of changes and stuff that you would need to in order to move away from this relationship. And so if you're going to try to make it work, they're like, imagine yourself in this place where your relationship is happy and it's healthy, um, positive visualization, maybe like a vision board things like that, gratitude journaling for things that you want in advance of actually having them. But for the majority of you, it, it's more like you should just bounce, right? So what they're saying is now is not the right time, but start thinking about it. Be patient for the right opportunity to have these conversations and to make a plan because everything's going to happen in divine timing and divine order. What they're saying is, um, yeah, Change is scary, change is hard, but it's also necessary for our growth and for us to be able to find our happiness. So kind of shitty news, and I'm sorry, but I have to be honest, or there's no point in doing these. Okay, moving on to Taurus. Taurus, what is the energy that you are putting out in the month of February um, for your partner to pick up on? Um, things are fun, you're happy, things to celebrate. Um, you are like deeply emotionally bonded and connected, radiating this kind of like soulmate vibe and energy. And um, it says like, you might not think, feel like things are moving forward as much as you'd want or as quickly as you want. And so if you're already married, this is like, oh, maybe we're not achieving the goals we want, saving for retirement, buying a house or whatever. But if you're in a coupled relationship, um, Maybe it's not yet exclusive, or maybe they're not moving in with you yet, or maybe they haven't put a ring on it yet, that kind of a thing. You might start to feel like, oh man, is this actually going to happen? But it's okay, because your relationship is actually really good and really healthy, and you're making a lot of um, strong emotional bonds and ties in the month of February, so whatever. The challenge for you is um, also a little bit fear-based, kind of like Virgo had, um, the, the fears that you have, you need to get rid of them because they don't help you. Like it just stresses you out further, right? So what's the point? So if you're worried like, oh, they're never going to propose, they're never going to move in, they're never going to officially commit, we're never going to be Facebook official. Really, why are you stressed? Why are you stressed? Because your emotions are good. You guys are emotionally bonded and connected and, the, and your relationship is worth celebrating. There are good things here. And so... You just need to live in that moment and feel content with what you have right now because everything's going to happen at the time that it's supposed to. So what are the steps through this challenge for you? And it's saying, you know, um, the steps are to have to remember who you are and what you bring to the relationship and how amazing you are. Um, you might be like kind of, oh, well, yeah, they're not going to propose because I haven't lost weight. <laughs> like something stupid like that. Like that's an... That's a mindset that one of you has. Like, oh, I'm too fat to look good in a wedding dress, so they're not going to propose. Or something like that. Something silly. And it's like, no, no, no. There's a lot of reasons why they love you. It's clear that they love you. So what is your problem? Why are you not loving yourself entirely, okay? Why are you beating yourself up like it's your fault that these things haven't happened? Just enjoy things because they're good this month. Another step through it, um, just know that your relationship is secure and that these things are coming. Um, okay, so what is it that you need to focus on in order to improve this relationship with your partner in the month of February for Taurus? Um, just accepting things as they are, being mindful in the moment. Like I said, there are things that you can't change, so what do you want to change them for? Why are you always trying to put control on things and manipulate things and make sure that other people do things by the order or the timeline that you want them to? Everything is fine. Chill. Chill, Taurus. Okay, Capricorn. What is the energy that you are putting out, Capricorn? Um, 
You're not worried about anything. Nothing to be worried about, nothing to be paranoid about, so that's good. They see that you're very strong. You have a lot of tact, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, like as an individual. Like infinite possibilities are available um, like for you, but then like also, they're kind of like a little bit concerned about your day-to-day -day life, your work life, your finances, stuff like that. They're like, ooh, but my Capricorn partner is going through a tough time that way. And so why is that um, something that's occupying their mind? I mean, obviously, if that's the circumstance, it would. But but why is it affecting them? Um, because they see that you're working so hard and they just don't want you to... Um, like not feel good about who you are and your confidence and all of these things, okay? They're just a little bit concerned about your own emotional health and stability. They see that you're emotionally healthy. They see that you're strong. They see that you persevere, but they just want to make sure that you continually do that throughout the month of February. So what are the challenges in your relationship? So I guess like maybe telling your partner like, hey, everything's fine. Like everything always works out because that's true. It will work out. Um, the challenge is denial, like getting rid of your fear, especially your fears related to the relationship. Like you're not paranoid, like it's not excessive, but that little bit of fear that you have there, um, try to get rid of it because it doesn't help your relationship. So what are some things that you can do in order to help your relationship? And it says um, right now, as far as like the balance in your day-to-day -day life, your finances, your work, your routines, stuff like that, there's not that much that you can do. And um, just being cognizant that that can start to affect your emotional balance and therefore um, affect your relationship as the month progresses is good to know so you can keep it in check. What they're saying is um, you might start to feel hopeless because things aren't changing as quickly as you like in outside circumstances um, and so it could kind of spill over into your relationship but you know those circumstances are going to change. This is the circumstance now but it's going to change and it's going to change without you having to make any big drastic decisions or actions. Things are just going to shift maybe by the time we get into March or April, okay? Now, what else can you focus on in your relationship to make it better? And I'm getting um, that as long as you're trusting your intuition and, and stuff like that, uh, everything's going to just be fine. Like your relationship is good. Anything that you haven't been able to make a decision on in regards to your relationship, they're like, go with the gut. But other than that, like you're in a really good place. So that's your love reading for the month of February for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. And I will see you next month for your general readings, your love readings, and hasta luego.